So. And that's why the damage has been done. When you pick up by almost 20 seconds over a kilometer, people are not going to be able to react to that. And it's only when you're in very good shape that you're able to do that. And Andrew Butcher has found that vein of form this year. And he's working hard for it. You can see on his face there, the grimace there. He's working, but the leg turnover is staying. The arms are staying relaxed. And he looks really in control now, looking back behind him. Andy Vernon and Tom Farrell, who are together there now going through with two laps to go. And can Tom Farrell get past Andy Vernon now? He's not the quicker of the two usually in the closing stages of the race, so he needs to do that to guarantee his selection. Well, for so long, Andy Vernon had to give second best to Mo Farah. Here it is uh, Andrew Butchart who is going to going to take the victory, no doubt about that. He is working hard though, Butcher, but it's a big, big gap back to Vernon and then to Farrell, the defending champion, Jonathan Davis, a long way back in fourth place. Jonathan Taylor also in there, and uh, Scott as well in that uh, third group. But Andy Vernon will take something from this performance after all those injuries alongside Farrell, but a long, long way behind Andrew Butcher, who comes round into the home straight for the uh, penultimate time. Vernon and Farrell, you can see the work that they're having to put in, how hard they have been pushed with that injection of pace from Andrew Butchert, who has just over a lap to go, a lap to go to victory here. What a run this has been from Butcher. It's been extremely good, and it's almost a victory lap for him over this lap because he has this race sewn up, but I think he's committed now. He wants to see, there's obviously some kind of time trial that may be in his training to see how quick he can run over the closing couple of kilometres of this race, but the real race is going on behind him now. I mean, Tom Farrell, should he finish third here, probably would be named later on, but he probably wants to be named in that team coming out on Monday, so he needs to get himself past Andy Vernon here today. Yes, a good race for uh, second and third, but a great race has been run by Andrew Butcher. Again, you can see beginning to labour, as you can imagine, when he really turned it up, almost running 230k after off the back of 250, 248. A very, very slow race at the start, but now, well, he wants some applause. He knows the victory is his. He wants some noise. Andrew Butcher. It is going to be a great victory. The celebration start. Makisi Benabad style already. Butcher coming down the home straight. What a race behind him as well as Farrell looks to see off the challenge of Vernon. But this is the man who takes the victory. The British champion, Andrew Butcher. What a summer of running he is having. And he takes the title. Farrell, winner last year, has beaten Vernon in third. But what a run from Andrew Butcher, who gets faster and faster.